I could talk about Neo or Palantir or Mullen Technologies or I don't know where else. I can talk about those things. These are very popular, right? And I can talk about only those stocks every single day. I can make a Neo video every day. I can make a Palantir video every single day. I can make a Mullen video every day. Well, that would lead me to a channel that would be concentrated on three stocks, let's say. I mean, there's nothing. And that would give me a lot of views because a lot of people watch Neo, Palantir, Mullen. You make a video about those stuff, you're guaranteed to hit minimum 2,000 views within the first 24 hours. Guaranteed. I mean, those are stocks that are really uh, getting a lot of attention. And I'd make a lot of money off the YouTube ad revenues, but I never do that. Like, I'll, I don't do that. I don't focus on, on, on those popular stocks every single day. I want to bring you guys something different. I try to, right? Thus, the IPO Market Watch channel. Thus, we cover every single initial public offering, which we cover exchange traded funds. There was a video that came out three, almost four hours ago that covered what the what IPOs are going public tomorrow, plus four new exchange traded funds and some money making opportunities for tomorrow, right? Always tease the ticket symbol for the, it's an amazing day trade only if you pre-order it, don't get into it tomorrow. If you don't pre-order it, then don't get into it. Um, that's just my opinion. All right, so with that being said though, in this video, I am going to focus on something new, a stock you may have never heard of before, but it is an amazing stock it is a, has been doing stunning for its sh shareholders for over a decade, right? It is a stunning, stunning. I mean, you. It's one of those stocks, right? If you have a group of this of this sort of stocks, I'm not saying it has to be the same sector, but if you have a group of stocks that perform like this one did for the next 10 years, you're set. You're set, man. You're. I mean, you're seriously set. You're you you're on your way to becoming filthy rich, right? So, yeah. So with that being said. Um, where am I trying to get with this? Well, two things I want to get out of this video. One, to introduce you to a stock that I think is um, an amazing company that maybe not a lot of people, maybe, I don't know, maybe they, they're not talking about it, right? I, th I don't think, I don't think many people on YouTube are talking about this one and because it's not popular, but it's kind of weird because it makes money. So why would you not be interested in making money over the years, right? Anyways, and to learn something together in this, all right, first of all, the news, one hour ago, as you can see here on the top, one hour ago, Globe Newswire, right? Um, and the news is that this company has been named to KBW, this was one hour ago, right? It was named to KBW Bank Honor Roll of High Performing Banks for the 11th consecutive year. 11 consecutive years, this company has been outperforming everyone, has been doing awesome, has been named one of the greatest banks in the United States. And for 11 consecutive years, probably not many people mentioned this, right? Um, and uh, here's the third thing and why I want, I want to mention this. A third reason why I'm mentioning this is because I expect this stock obviously to fall as the stock market is obviously not performing well and it's um, going to give us opportunities to add to our portfolio great companies for the, the, for the next, let's say, 5, 10 years, wealth building, if you want to build wealth. So by focusing in this company now, we can put it on our watch list, let it fall a little more, and add it to our position. I'm not saying that you should, but I will. Uh, so Warsaw, um, Indiana, in Warsaw, Indiana, United States, the single bank subsidiary of this company announced today that the bank's long-term performance earned it inclusion in the 2022 KBW Bank Honor published by, uh, I'm gonna kill this name now, Keith Bruyette and Woods, I hope I said it right, Incorporation for the 11th consecutive year. And don't forget everyone to subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Patreon if you want, uh, where, where I offer uh, stocks that will help our portfolio grow. The stock, $74.44, but we want it to fall. We want this to fall. We don't want to buy it at 74. We want it to fall significantly so we can add it to our long-term position. As you can see, for the, at least the past 10 years, all it's given its, its investors, its long-term investors, it has just given them happiness, joy, good times, peace in their heart, you know? <laughs> no stress. Uh, this, is an, this is an amazing, amazing stock. Right, so I even put the letters here, um, the word here, amazing, amazing. I hope I put it big enough so you people can see it. And really, it's just a great chart. Don't you want all your stocks to move like that for years? This is awesome. Now, uh, the company is called Lakeland Financial Corporation, 
ticker symbol is LKFN. It's on the NASDAQ. Uh, yes, I think on the NASDAQ. Uh, so Lakeland Financial Corporation operates as the bank holding company for Lake City Bank that provides various banking products and services. Now, okay, I get it. There's, you know, the new investors or or even old investors who are super excited still and they love going after, you know, um, electrifying uh, moves. You're gonna, you know, they're gonna say, well, Mike, come on, man, you're boring. This is a bank stock, come on. Look, bank stocks, who cares? Come on, if it's a good stock, you hold it for five years, five years down the road, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. You can have more money. Why would you regret it? Plus the, the dividends, come on, this is great. The company accepts various deposit products such as non-interest bearing, interest bearing, checking, savings, money, you know, the classical banking stuff. The company also offers retail and merchant credit card services, corporate treasury management, isn't that amazing? Wealth advisory, <laughs> trust services. Reading these things make you want to fall asleep. Um, yeah, a bunch of things, right? And uh, has 51 offices and, and, and so on. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let's go to April 25th, 2022 this year. Lakeland Financial came out with quarterly earnings of 92 cents per share, beating the Zacks consensus estimate of 88, per, 88 cents per share. It actually beat the estimates of, of Wall Street analysts also um, who were expecting uh, lower, but the, the company uh, provided awesome Q1 earnings, right? So the quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of 4.55% higher. A quarter ago, it was expected this holding company uh, would post earnings of 97 cents per share when it actually produced 95 cents. Um, that was a quarter ago, right? Then last quarter, right? It delivered a surprise of negative 2%. In this quarter, this uh, April 25th, 2022, when they reported, it was a surprise of 4.55% up. Like Warren Buffett said, and this is very serious for those who are looking to invest, invest in companies for the long term, paying attention to every single quarter makes zero sense. Like Warren Buffett said, if the stock market was closed for five years, it probably would have been better for all of us, right? You, there's no need to be watching the stock market every single day unless you're a day trader, right? Um, so uh, I don't look at this company like, what did it do this quarter? What did it do next quarter? What did it do, you know, four quarters in one year? Forget that. Um, just on an average, two year average, what has it done, right? And it's just performed outstanding, outstanding. And you can see that obviously from the stock chart that we saw earlier, uh, it, re it reflects that. Uh, revenue could, every single year from 2014 going to 2021, was on an average of about a 9% increase in revenue year over year. The only time that it actually had no increase in revenue but saw a negative 0.88% was in 2020. Obviously, makes sense. Who didn't, who did well in 2020? Other than that, every single year has been awesome. When we look at the analysts, there's nine analysts who are covering this. Right now, they are giving a, the analyst consensus is a sell. So they're not bullish on the stock right now, which is awesome. And it makes sense. Why would you be bullish on this uh, bank stock right now with the way the market is and how the Fed is moving, right? Which is awesome though. Like I said, this is awesome. We don't fear great stocks going downwards. Like if Apple's crash today 50 bucks 60 bucks why would i fear that i'd be super happy if it crashed 100 bucks i'd be i'd throw a party and uh buy as much as i can so lakeland financial like i said i want it to fall uh this is a stock that I definitely want to add to my portfolio and hold it for the next five to ten years so what i'm going to do is keep my eyes on it and uh, or maybe put a buy order at a, at a certain price let's say i'll put a buy order at 60 if it falls to 60 that'll be awesome by the end of the year right i don't know if it will fall that low but yeah um, just giving an example uh revenue yeah like we said constant growth now the revenue for next year is expected to be a 6.65 percent increase from 2021 which is great eps this year is 3.8 eps next year is expected to be up 5.7 percent to 4.03 and that's it really this is an amazing stock i don't think many people are talking about it and it's a stock you should not fear if it's falling you should be happy that it's falling and then once it falls significantly um, do your due diligence and, and decide if you should buy it or not i am definitely uh, very hyped about this and it's one of those few stocks i'm have a very, I'm keeping my eyes on very closely and I want it to fall and uh, get in. Thank you very much for watching this video. I wish you all the best. Take care.